Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well, everyone is safe. So uh, say you have a dictionary called example and you want to access its attributes. So the simple way is you write the dictionary name, then you create a square bracket, and then you create a write a single quote or double quote, then you write its attribute and then you are able to access its value. So wouldn't it be very simple and interesting and easy if you could simply write the uh, dictionary name put a dot and the attribute name and we are able to access its value so it will make our life much easier and this may look very trivial for like a simple dictionary like this but if you have a, a dictionary which has a lot of keys and whose, uh, the, whose attributes you need to you know manipulate uh, time and again so in that case this dot notation becomes very handy so in this video we will see how we can go from example square bracket apostrophe name to example dot name so let's get started. Uh, so uh, the function or the class that helps to do that, like going from, uh, like going from this notation of a single code to a dot notation, is this class. And this I got while I was searching for this kind of answer from Stack Overflow. So mainly the answers from Daniel, Farrell, and Derek. So this is the, uh, this is the yeah. This is the class that they've mentioned and it, it kind of worked for me. So I thought I'll share with everyone. So you just need to run this, like uh, call this. So let's create a dictionary called example. And if you do this and then let's see, it clearly says that it's name, age, gender. Okay. And then, yeah, pop in. <laughs> and if you want to access the name, so simple example uh, name and you'll be able to access but what if you want to access the dot notation? If you give example dot name, it will give you an error like dict object has no attribute name. So you have to simply call this class dot dict and pass on your dictionary uh, ver dictionary object or dictionary variable name. And if you do that, then it converts it, it in a format that you can do a dot access notation. So now if you do example two dot name, it will simply print a pop in. Now this is a simple, you know, to do that, but you can also uh, write this in a function and then you can import this and then do your stuff. So one thing that I wanted to show you, this is for, suppose if you have a configuration file or any file of JSON or YML. So let's see a YML file. So it looks like this. And if you have to load this YML file, it loads in a dictionary format. So let me show you. Uh, the example here. Yeah. So demo YML. So what I'll do is simply uh, import YML. Then I will import this class, which I have mentioned here. And I'll give a YML file that I need to read. So I'm just running it here and I'll open the file. And then if you see uh, the CFG, which is config, it's a dictionary with so many keys, etc. Okay, these are actually the parameters of a neural network, but it could be any attribute. And then uh, if you simply print, uh, you need to access with this format. But if you call this uh, dot dict, then you can simply, you know, check it with uh, this uh, dot notation. And also you can update the value here dot say number of classes is equal to 10 and then if you do this uh, then you can see that it's uh, uploaded to 10. So same thing you can do also for a JSON file. So I have a demo.json. You can do same thing and also I have created one function. So uh, to load the YML file or to load the JSON file. So what you have to do is you can use this function in your code as well. Simply load this uh, function and if you have to load your YML file in a object notation like a dot notation then you can use this function you have to do is simply pass this config type as object here so i will simply call this okay and this cfg will be loaded now as an object now if you want to load it as a dictionary you can pass it as a dictionary it's doing the same thing what mentioned here but it's in, it's in a function now you can update its uh, value like suppose i want to update a new value called cfg dot new variable which is equal to 25 and then cfg dot new variable two is equal to new. Now, once you have created, you know, some new uh, new attributes, you can also save it. So you can just print it, 
and you can also save it uh, using the save yml file function that i have created so simply what it will do is it will dump it so uh, i'll run this and then it will create a new file called demo uh, sorry config new.yml so same thing you can do for the json file as well so this will this comes handy you know when you have to deal with this yml or json file which has really you know big number of attributes and all so i hope uh, this is it uh, i hope this is uh, this is useful to you uh, this trick you can use and you know make your life easier and if you if you like this i will be further uploading some simple tricks and all but if you like it do give a like uh, comment below subscribe to my channel and Till then, keep learning and keep exploring neurons. Bye. Namaste.